wait for you. Leona, sweetheart, let me give you a hug. Oh, <laughs> I missed you so much. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, you don't believe how much I've missed you. Oh I... oh, I can't believe how skinny you are. Don't worry, we can fix that. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, I promise I'll make our favorite pie, darling. Oh, come Come on, let's get ready. Come on. What are the Lyakov celebrating? Tolik returned from the army. It's just been a few days. Hey, neighbor. Leona. Hmm? Wow. I didn't recognize you. You're so much prettier since the last time I saw you. Thank you, Tolik. Welcome. You're very welcome. We're going to have to go now, Tolik. Leona has to get some rest. <laughs> Son, come back. I'm coming, Mom! One minute! <laughs> Mom, Aliona is more beautiful than ever. Honestly, she is... Oh, you, you're drunk again. <laughs> What's the problem? The problem? You need to find someone. Oh. I, I want grandchildren. And Aliona. Mom. She's perfect for you. <laughs> she's smart, she's pretty, and studies at the academy. What academy? In the capital. In the uh, agronomy academy, right? There's no way. I'll go talk to her. Wait, wait. She's busy right now. She doesn't have the time. She has to come. Invite her to the party tonight. And then I'll leave with Claudia to talk about what she wants in life. Ma... <laughs> It's a great idea, huh? <laughs> oh, what are you waiting for? Come inside, sure, all of you, you. Come on. Dom, dom, dom. Dom, dom, dom. Aliona, please tell me, why are you studying half time if you applied for a full time? Tell me that. Hmm? Because I can work at the same time. I'll gain the experience. Granny, I don't know how I'm going to survive without you. You're the only person I really care about. Hmm. I wish your parents were here. They would be so proud of you. Their daughter is a student at the academy. So intelligent. Oh. Those drunk drivers bring so much grief. Oh, oh Grandma, don't be upset. Your blood pressure would get high. Yes, I know. I know, I know. I'll clear my head. I'm so happy you decided to stay here. 
But it's a complicated life. You have to learn how to organize your day. Work and studies. Don't worry. I'll be outside all the time. Out in the field. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. All my life, I was behind a desk, calculating the debit and the credit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hello? It will only be a minute, yes. Yes. <sighs> Granny, I'm really tired right now. Go lie down, sleep. <laughs> I'll be back soon. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Claudia, can you ask the boss if they're going to give us a raise? Prices have gone up. No, it's impossible. They really don't care about us. <laughs> Bosses. <laughs> Matthew, you're wrong. Nikolai is simply human. Now tell me why you showed up drunk. Huh? This is machinery. Come in. It's me. Please come in. Hello, good morning. Hello, Claudia. Good morning. Did your granddaughter arrive? Mm hmm, yes, she just got here. I'm sorry for calling you, but it's urgent that these invoices get paid as soon as possible. Yes. Mm. Is that your son? Yes, this is Vlad. He just sent it to me. It's from his graduation ceremony. It was taken in England. Ah, he's so handsome. He's handsome. He must be pretty popular with the girls. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, I uh, needed a favor. My granddaughter is looking for a part-time job, and I was thinking that hmm. she could work here. Maybe we could find something, a vacancy. I'm sure there's something she could do here. Um, she works of course, hard. Don't worry. We can send the documents tomorrow. Oh, Nikolai, thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't forget this. Thank you. They're very important. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? I came to talk. I wanted a chat. But you were sleeping. Not anymore. Do you want to go to a, a party? I don't like parties. I never have. The lake? Do you want to go for a walk? Or are you too cool after being in the academy? I guess you don't even want to see your childhood friend. Why do you say that? The lake? Let's go. Just wait, I'll change. Uh-huh. Where are you going? We're going for a walk by the lake. Don't stay out late. I'll be waiting up for you. Don't worry, Claudia. I'll be taking good care of her. The lake, don't. Could you at least hold my hand? Good evening. Uh, good evening, Hello, Hello, Hi. Thank you. Oh, look at him. He's barely sober and he's already with a girl. You know how he is. He always gets what he wants. Ah, uh, I can already see us having fun at their wedding.
you doing? Talk, stop. You, you have been my friend since we were little kids, since forever. This isn't you. We're just friends. No, come on, what do you mean? You're not bad. Why are you leaving? My grandma will be worried. It's already late. Well, do you like it? Uh, how about this one's? Oh, you don't understand. This is in style, and it's very popular in Europe. Oh, I'm sure Blatt would love them. <laughs> That's right. He will appreciate them. What are you doing tomorrow? Don't know. My grandma needs help and I needed a new job. How about after work? We'll see. Dinner? Where's the vodka? Bottom shelf. Uh, what happened? You were right. I'll get married. With who? A Leona Strogo. My God. Thank you, Lord. While you were with Tolik yesterday, his mother showed up here. She was asking... about everything. About all of your life plans. Grandma, it's my first day. I don't want to be late. <laughs> my God. Please watch over her. You will work here. What do you think about the place? Do you like it? Yes. Just look. These are our crops. This one is delicious, and this are the sweetest. I've read about this. It's one of yes. the best. Our tangerines are the best ones out there. Yes? You'll have time to try them all. <laughs> <laughs> hey! What? Did the beer come? It arrived in the morning. Oh, hello, hi. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh, Miss Strogoff. I forgot my wallet. I'll be back. <laughs> every, t every time. She forgets something all the time. Oh, oh Valentina. Five uh? beers. You need to tell me when all of Tolik's drinking will stop. Oh. He's been pairing with all weed with his friends. <laughs> He's a really good guy. Valentina, we're celebrating, and it's just the beginning. He will get married. No, you're lying. With whom? Our neighbor, Aliona Strogov. Uh, when did he find a time he hasn't been sober? I saw him uh, holding hands with her on the street. When mm. is the proposal? Well, my son said he's ready whenever. No, you have to call me. I'll make sure she says yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. It's a secret. Don't tell anyone. The vodka prices will rise. Oh no. What will I do? Don't know. Buy the vodka for the wedding now. I can sell you five boxes now, but I have to keep the rest in the inventory. <gasps> Thank you, Valentina. Uh, will five be enough? How do I know? Thank you. <laughs> Tell me. I can't believe how beautiful you are. <gasps> what was that? This case needs urgent help. Here are the contracts you asked for. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I received the gas bill. It went up again. With those prices... We're going to have a very hard time being profitable. I know. I need time to think. 
go, go. Hello, Sergey. We need to meet up. Yes, of course we're friends. There's not a problem. <laughs> Who? Your son's coming back uh, from London, Will. I'll see you, of course. Yes. Kuznetsov. Right. Yes, of course. When we have time, my family will come see you. Of course. Bye. Talk to you soon. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Mommy. Hello. <laughs> Oh, how's it going? Veronica, go lie down. Come on. Mommy, you need to get where some are we rest. going? Oh. Veronica, go look at yourself in the mirror. Everyone says I'm a puppy. Enough. What? <gasps> Please calm down now. Come on. Where did she go? She was at a party with Oleg. Yes, yes. He spends his time wasting his family's millions. We thought he was different. No, stop, stop. I Don't thought... protect her. It's always the same thing with her. She thinks she can just party all the time. That's awesome. <sighs> and I only wanted to have a conversation with you. Close that Ignore door! Ignore her, sweet. <laughs> Please, calm down. Come on, Yes, chill. I know, I know. This will be a great party. Valentina, yes. how much is it? Uh, here's everything I have. Why does it look like you beg for them? Did you say something to eat? Ah, I can talk to Kuznetsov so that he sells me the vegetables at a lower price. Oh, I see. Do you know if you're gonna get the bottle of champagne? I'll let the bride get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all. What's up? Why are you laughing? Come on, please tell me. Your ceremony is going to be so fun with that much bottles of vodka. It will be a blast. Of course it will. Everyone will remember it. You're invited. I will come. Come. I will come. <sighs> Aliona, you still working? Hello. You need a man at home. Want to go to the club and, and dance? I have to wake up early. I have work. Come on. Thank you. Hey, your pensier rejected you. Talik. Be careful with that thing. She will oh. be mine. Oh. Hey. She'll make her gay wife, I know it. What? But I'm predicting the situation. Hey, hey, I'm predicting hey. a punch calm in your face. Calm down, calm down. Here, for a better mood. Uh, um, all women come and go, but your real friends, they are here forever. Come, come on, let's go. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Enjoy. <clears throat> There's more. <sighs> Look. I fell in love at first sight. I can live without her. <laughs> Dustia. I'll give you the rest when I marry Leona. Away. This is not the time. Uh, 
Who's here in the middle of the night? Dustia. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening, Aliona. Hello. The reason I came here... There is a prince. A happiness engineer with a brilliant mind. The most handsome. His presence is an act of faith. Dustia, can you please tell me what is happening here? Claudia, let me talk. And then he opens the window. And there she is, a powerful firebird, the girl of his dreams. <sighs> Dustia, stop. We know the prince. You're talking about Tolik, right? <sighs> I won't marry him. I don't love him. Are you crazy? Have you seen all the other men around here? It's full of old people. Do you want to stay single forever? I said what I said. Besides, I won't always be single. With that attitude, <laughs> it won't. Or are you waiting for a king? I'm waiting for my beloved one. And I'll wait forever. I don't care. You will never get married. You will die alone. Goodbye. Don't talk to us like that again. Aliona. She may be right. Grandma. No, Tolik is a great guy. I don't care that he's a great guy. I don't love him. And I would rather stay single than be with someone I don't love. That girl. She thinks she's better than me. Tell me what's wrong. Why doesn't she like me? Please calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's getting late. Get some rest. Mm -hmm. Let's go. In a moment. <laughs> Good morning, Grandma. Good morning. Come on, get up. Take a look at this. Mm. <laughs> mm. Who's here so early? <gasps> Claudia. I'm in trouble. What do I do? Paulina, what happened? Tolik's drinking again. He's really... He gets hot-tempered when he drinks, and he won't stop. Paulina, how can we help you? Mm-hmm. He's drinking because of you. You turned him down. I don't love him. How can I marry someone if I don't have feelings for them? I'm begging you. Please, please don't ruin the rest of his life. I raised him all by myself, and his dad wasn't around. We grew up without money and without luxury, but that made him kind. I promise I don't want his life to go to waste. 
If you break his heart, I'm going to lose him and his everything I have. Mm, Paulina, no Paulina, come. We understand, mm. really. But you have to know that you can't force someone to love someone else. <laughs> you don't understand. What do you know about love? Could be the love of your life. Uh, you are one arrogant girl, and I'll make you suffer. I promise I'll make you suffer. Shut up. Maya Leona is also an orphan, and I've taken care of her since that horrible accident. Don't you dare threaten her. I'm sorry, Claudia. I have to go to the airport. Vlad just arrived from England. Then tomorrow. Children should always be the priority. this back give me back my money i don't want your vodka <laughs> and just like that the wedding is canceled you why don't you care just give me my money what back what are you talking about i'm not giving you anything huh listen tolik after a purchase there is no return or refunds no but, but, uh, oh but, uh, just look at you oh. <sighs> It's unbelievable. Oh, fool, that's not helping. Ah! What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Give me my money back. Get out of here. Let me go. Get him Come. out now. Come on, You're just let Ill. me go. Get out. Give me my Get money, you now. stupid. Unbelievable. He's so crazy. <laughs> I forgot how terrible the roads were here. But the sky is amazing. Didn't you miss the roads? I didn't miss them. <laughs> Not even a little bit. How's mom doing? Dying to see you. And you? Hmm, working. All good? Everything would be perfect if it wasn't for the prices on gas. It's getting too expensive, you know. It's a worldwide problem. <laughs> Stop obsessing over Leona. You need to find someone else. There is no one else. Uh, just take a look at all the girls that we have in the village. I don't want anyone else. Well, just tell me where's the thief. Laptev, be your guest. I came for one thing. I'm here to arrest your son. Leave that! Put that down! It's evidence that I'm confiscating. Go to hell! I'm going to start with 15 days. Then you'll go to trial. 
Why did you do that? Tell me! Damage to private property after he attacked a saleswoman. At least five years. Uh, no. He had a good reason. Which is? The dumb snake didn't want to marry him. It's her fault. Shame. I love weddings. I'll tell you something. Hey! If you do that again, I'll put you away. You won't get out. Oh, Stepan, please wait. Enough, oh, Stepan. Give it to the saleswoman. Look. Get him out tonight. If you want, I'll come visit you. Huh? <clears throat> Mr. Laptev, good morning. What happened? Come here. If you keep asking questions, I'll lock you up with that vodka. Understand? Yes. Can I help? Let's go. <laughs> I'm not interested in working there. The greenhouse is not my thing. What do you want to do? Well, I study in energy engineering. Take me to the greenhouse. Find the Leona. It's right there. Thank you. Ale Aleona. Come here, just a second. Please. Come on. What is it? Let's go. Talik, I'm at work. Talik, what do you want? You'll be mine. You'll be mine. It's just a matter of time. Talik, I'm not understanding you. This will help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aleona. I'm sorry. Uh, you won't be mine. Help me. Don't fight it. You won't be mine. Help me. You're Get mine. Get off of me. Father, stop. Help. Stop him. <laughs> What's your problem? Did he hurt you? I don't understand. You need to go to a doctor. Yeah, uh, let's go to the infirmary. Uh, sir, please take me home instead. I feel fine. Please. I'm okay, okay I promise.
Oh. Oh, now I get it. Thank you. My son wasn't enough. She... she wanted the son of the boss. I see. You got him real good, son. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Father, do you know who that girl is? Uh, my accountant's granddaughter. Bob! Bob! Tolik! Oh no! What happened? Who, who did this? Please give me something, it oh. really hurts. Oh. 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 I can't believe it. Don't worry. Has Aliona arrived home? Is she home yet? Yes, she's here. I saw her come in a while ago. Oh, she was with goodness of son when she arrived. He was the one who did this. What? Don't worry. He will pay for this. Don't you dare. You will have... They'll kick you out of work. If you go to jail, what do I do? Do you want me to beg for money? Mom. I know. I spend the night with Greg. Laptop is coming over and he can't see this. And I beg you, please don't drink in Greg's house. You can get in so much trouble because of vodka. I know, I understand. My God! You didn't come to see me after work today. What happened there? A lamp exploded in the greenhouse. It scratched me a little. I'm fine, Grandma. I just have to clean it up and that's all. Mom! Oh! Come it's on, Olga. So Let the boy I breathe. Seen in a year. Oh my God. <laughs> what is it? Are you blind? There is a sign, right? Valentina, I brought you the money. What money? to make up for the damages. I still don't know the price. I want Tolik to come and ask for forgiveness and give me the money. He can't come right now. Why Hank can come? Because the Englishman beat him up, the boss's son. So he's in the hospital. He's hurt. Just wait. Glad the handsome is back. Give me the money. Oh. Is this it? There's nothing else. Let's see. Um, gonna count everything, and then I will tell you how much it was. I never should have helped you both. Mm. Eat, Hedgehog. Everything straight from the garden. I'm sorry, I have to go to work. Oh, why now? We invited the Guryanovs to dinner at eight. I'll be here. Relax. Oh, it's always yeah, the yeah. same. Eat. Grandma, I want to do a lot of reading. Imagine creating one lettuce that weighs 10 kilograms and we could grow a ton of them so we could feed an entire family. We could feed a lot of people. Could you imagine that, Grandma? Mm-hmm. Make a meter-long pickle, too. And a tomato. 
as big as my head. Do you know the story about how the famous breeder Mitsurin died? How? He was climbing a tree. He fell, and a watermelon fell on top of him. <laughs> Grandma, I'm serious. <laughs> Come on, Reed. Time will tell who you'll become. Where did you graduate, Vlad? I uh, graduated in energy engineering from the College of London. From what school? From a world-class university. How many languages? Spanish, French, and I'm also studying Chinese. Chinese? Why Chinese? China is currently in a major economical position in the world, and I think the language is very important. Congrats. Bravo. And what do you want to do here at home? Honestly, I'm not sure yet because I haven't been here in a while and a lot has changed. Hmm. <laughs> With your education and your knowledge of languages, you could do... Darling, this conversation is not interesting. They're young. Let them go out. Vlad, um, would you like to go to a party? Go, go! It's Halloween. If we go right now, we won't be so late. Good night. Bye. They make a great couple. Friends. Why don't we marry our children? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is this yours, Veronica? Don't be so formal. Please, call me Nina. Okay? Okay. My dad gave me the car a month ago. And I mm -hmm. got my license a week ago. <laughs> that means you don't know how to drive. <laughs> no, but I can drive. I've practiced in the countryside, in my driveway. Oh. Don't be scared. <laughs> so tell me, how's it starting in London? Is it hard? Yes, the classes are really hard and required a lot of time, so I didn't have much opportunity. You didn't even have time to go shopping? I went to one of the most famous stores there because I was curious once. Mm, what did they sell? Mm, more exclusive stuff, <laughs> like 3,000 pound shoes and expensive shirts. And did you get them? Mm, I just bought three. Three pairs. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Amazing. Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Larissa brought us some fresh milk. It's still warm and creamy. Let's pour it in here. I need to return this later.
You're a great dancer. Did you learn that in London? Yes, of course. I went to a lot of parties. Mm. Do you like the women from there? Most girls there were originally from Asia. But really, the most beautiful women are from here. Well, want some whiskey? Hey, two whiskeys. You're driving. Uh-huh, I know. It's only five minutes. And if something happens, my daddy will solve it. Well, cheers to us. I don't drink. Come on, really? Or is it just me? Really, I don't drink or smoke. <laughs> wow. So ironic. <laughs> the Englishman doesn't smoke or drink. <laughs> For your information, I'm not English. Mm. Whatever. For your amazing help. When is your loan due? It's gonna end soon, but I want to extend it. Is that okay? It's okay. I'll extend it. And if we're family, I'll write it off. If the kids get married, so? A toast to Here's our children. Them. Happy marriage. Mm. Hey, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> your clothes. It looks better this way. <laughs> we have to go to your place. Give me the keys so I can drive the car. Are you listening to me? Do you like me? Yes. Really? Really. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm fine. Veronica, are you okay? Thank you. Mm. Let me help you. Mm. I'm okay. Come on. Mmm, you're so handsome. Mwah. Come on. Mwah. 
Honey, you have to arrest the one who attacked Tolik. If it continues, I will have to arrest your son. He attacked Aliona and Vlast just defended her. Tell him to shut up. She mm. decided not to press charges. Of what? Attempted rape. My God. Uh -huh. After that, I won't be able to help. He'll go to jail. You two should keep quiet. That's it. Mm. 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 Well, good night. We have to go to sleep. I had a, a long day. Mm. Mm. And yet, all get revenge. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Claudia. Good morning. And Nikolai? He hasn't come in, but... His son just got into town. <gasps> How is Eliona? How is she feeling? Why are you asking about her? You don't know? Oh, something happened yesterday. Talik came to the greenhouse stalking Eliona. Then Vlad saved her, but almost bit him to death. And this morning, Polina came. She was shouting all sort of things to Eliona and the trouble she causes. Enough. <gasps> when Nikolai arrives, call me. Let me know. Good morning. Please sit down. Thanks, but I'll only have tea. Tell me, did you like her? Veronica, yeah? Hmm, she's really funny. <laughs> Get to know her. her. Her dad's very important to me. And she's pretty, so maybe... No, dad. Uh, aren't we late for your work? My work? Yes, for work. I promise you I'll take care of everything myself. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Why did you drink so much last night? Didn't you hear what I told you? What did you do? Tell me. You ruined everything. Mom, he's super lame. Doesn't drink or smoke. I actually think he might be gay. You really didn't think this through. He's handsome, he's smart, he has everything. All of your mm. friends will envy you if you marry him. Very appealing. He will work in the ministry. Over time, we will gain an enormous amount of power. He has a bright future. Trust me, I have a feeling, okay? Mom, he doesn't like me, okay? Then go get drunk, again. Men are very simple, lovers of the thrill, but always marry the modest one. He still knows nothing about your adventures. Be patient. You'll see. <sighs> and please, do everything you can so that he get married with you. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't believe it. He's a good option. <sighs> Smart, handsome, rich. I'll try. Why did I have to learn from a stranger about what happened to you? Tolik hit you, right? Why didn't you tell me? Am I a stranger to you now? Grandma, I just didn't want to upset you. Is it true that the son of my boss protected you? He fought for you? 
Mm -hmm. Grandma, here he comes. Hello. 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 How are you feeling? I'm okay. Thank you. Thank this is you. my grandmother. Her name is Claudia. She also works here. She's the accountant. Mm, nice to meet you, Vlad. I wanted to thank you, Vlad, for defending my granddaughter. It really means a lot to me. It's really not a problem. Any guy in my place would have done the same. Wow, everything here is really pretty. The flowers are just on mm -hmm. another level. Hard work. We're actually trying to, well... Well, thank you so much again for defending her. I'm going to go now, okay? See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, see you later. You're the master of the tangerines, then. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're actually a whole team. I'm sorry, but I have to get back to work. Eliona, let's go out tonight. I was thinking, it's been a very long time since I've lived around here. You could show me around. If you want, we can have some fun, together. Mm, okay, then come to my house at 8 p.m. You already know where it is. <laughs> I'll see ya. <laughs> of all, what? Hear this. Tell me. Now everything's possible for the rich. Tolik only wanted a kiss from Aliona. Nothing wrong. Everyone knows he's in love. But yes, but then Vlad almost killed my son. Yes, he did. Oh, look at that. Who just came in? I saw you. I saw you making love with the boss's son. Do you want to get your hands on him? You just love spreading gossip, Paulina. You say you don't, but you should keep an eye out for your son. He makes you look really bad. He attacked a woman, and you're blaming an innocent person? You're spreading gossip, Paulina. And that's not attractive. It is not gossip. I saw them. I swear, I saw them with my own two eyes. What? You don't like the truth? Val. Huh? Sugar. Yes. Here. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. They're... Uh, crazy! Grandma, can you eat alone today? Where are you going all dressed up like that? Is it a date you're going on? Tell me. That's right. Oh, sweetheart. Is it with the neighbor? Of course not. Grandma, I'll go on a date with the man that saved me. Well, that means that Pauline was telling the truth about the two of you. But he's so polite and good and handsome. So you fell in love with Vlad then? <laughs> I have to go. See you, Grandma. <laughs> Aliona, come back. Bye, Grandma. This is not good. the water running again. One of these days, Kuznetsov will fire you and replace you with Aliona, his son's fiancé. 
Nicolai, Nicolai. Nicolai, Nicolai. Nicolai. Wait, Nicolai, Marisa, let go. Wait. Nicolai. Nicolai's really busy. Nicolai. Why are you yelling? Nicolai, please don't fire me. I know I left the water running, but I promise it was a mistake. It won't happen again. <laughs> Who's gonna fire you? I don't understand. They told me you were going to fire me and you were going to replace me with Aliona because she is your son's fiance. What? Larissa, you need to go right now. Are you Nobody sure they is going fire to fire me? you. You need to go. Me. I've worked by. Who called? Veronica, but she only wanted to invite me to party. Wonderful. I'm not going. Why not? You can't reject Veronica. Listen to me, sweetie Vlad. Mom. Her father promised us a favor. He could hire you in a good position in the Department of Energy. It's wonderful. He also gave your father a very generous loan. What are you talking about? Hello, darling. Your son has refused to go out with Veronica. I know why. <sighs> Everybody's talking about his brand new girlfriend. What girlfriend? She's just an employee from the greenhouse. Honey, what's happening? I forbid it, okay? I forbid you to see her again, and if I see you together, I will fire that girl. Do oh, you no. understand? I don't ever want to see you with her again. That's all? I'm leaving. Leave. Darling? What did you just do? Uh, everything. Everything's okay. Shh, shh, shh. <sighs> everything's gonna be... Everything's gonna be okay. You need to focus on your studies, not flirting. With the boss's son, he's out of your league. It's from the past that the prince marries a princess. Nowadays, the prince can marry a normal girl, just like me. That's just a fabricated story by him. He just wants to play with you. Grandma, what are you saying? You don't even know him. He's really kind. He's... You're not going anywhere. The end. You will thank me for this one day, my child. Grandma. You need to think and realize that this is a mistake. Grandma! Grandma! You're crazy! Get out of here, Vlad. Aliona's not coming out. But why won't she come out? What did I do? 
don't ever come back. Well, did you change your mind? Vlad, I'm here. Oh, Aliona, what are you doing? I sneaked your, out. Your grandma told me you didn't want to see me. She locked me up. She doesn't want us to date. But I snuck out. <laughs> Come on, I know a secret place where no one will see us. Who are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. I just don't like gossip. Huh, let's go. <laughs> that girl ran away. My parents' dream is that I marry someone solely because of their family's money. Veronica, I don't even know how they thought something so medieval would work with me, but they're wrong. Is she pretty? I would say she's pretty, but that's all. She has no personality. <laughs> Why does she need one? She's rich. Do you believe in love at first sight? Good night. Hello. So sorry if I woke you. Are you with Veronica? Yes. I'm just worried. It's it's three in the morning, and Vlad didn't call me either. <sighs> That's good. I'm sorry for calling. Huh? Goodbye. <sighs> Vlad is with Veronica. They went to a party. What did I tell you? Yeah, it's good. I can't be late for work. 
Get out here. I'll walk home. No. I don't want to hide. Let's just go to your house, and I'll ask your grandmother for your hand. Vlad... <laughs> Let's do it in the evening. My grandma... is older, and she will need a lot of time to prepare. In the evening. <laughs> Perfect. Have you no shame? Tell me where you were. Grandma, relax, please. I'm fine. You slept with the boss's son. Yes, we spent the night, and then he proposed to me. <sighs> I swear that if you're pregnant, you're out of my house. Why does no one believe me? Good things really do exist. I am so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hello, son. You want some breakfast? Um, no, thank you. Tell us something. When is the wedding? Wait. Later on, you'll know. Darling? Is it done? Hi. Aja? Hello. Come to dinner tonight. I don't know. I have a strong feeling that Vlad is going to propose to Veronica. It's a secret. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Finally, some good food. Oh, you only think about food. Lacey, you need a job. <laughs> but why, Paulina? Mom, give me money. I want beer. Here. I have news of Aliona. She spent the whole night with Vlad. And I just saw her return home an hour ago. Well, I have to go now. I don't want to be late. Mm. So how long will I be here? You'll stay here. Until Laptop says. Bring some vodka. Have you seen the time? The store opens at 11. Well, then go and ask the neighbors. You heard that?
Okay. We'll see who wins in the end. Uh, you should put her on a leash, or you'll be a great grandma. <laughs> see that? Now everyone knows. What did I do? Is it wrong to fall in love with the right person, Grandma? Uh, please, come in. Good evening, my guests. Please come in. Vlad is on his way. It's okay, we'll wait. <laughs> if you get married, then... How will you study? I will study, Grandma. Mm-hmm. And if you get pregnant? If your mother was alive, you would listen to her. I don't have that strength. Now eat your dinner. <sighs> eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it? Uh-huh. Why did you come back? <laughs> Mom, I just, I, I missed you and your food. Hmm. Do you have soup? Yes. Huh? huh. Talik, look who just came to see your girl. No. Uh, huh. come on, let's go. Wait, Alex. I just want to have a talk with him. I won't let you. Tolik, Tolik. Not now. He won't go anywhere. <laughs> Mom. You promised me food. Mom. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm going to get the cookies for us. Claudia. I'm in love with Aliona. Please believe me. I want to marry her. I'm going to tell you. Call me Vlad. Okay, listen, Vlad. I don't want anything bad to happen. I only want good things for her to be happy. What will your parents say? <laughs> the moment they see her, they'll understand everything. Well, if they approve, you have my blessings, then. Can we go? We want to go to my house. We're going to ask together. <laughs> For my parents' blessings, I'll prove to you this is real. That I really want to marry your granddaughter. Darling, are you sure? Yes, Grandma. <laughs> yes, let's go. He took your girl. He's gone. Dalek, Dalek, Dalek. Hey, 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 hey. Sit down and eat your soup. It's... It's very good.
Listen to me. Everything's all right. Remember, you just greet them and I'll do the talking. Uh-huh. Don't worry too much about them. Uh-huh. Let's go. Glad. Huh? Do you think they like me? Darling, there's no way they won't like you. They're going to love you. <laughs> I'm sure that they'll accept you as family. Let's go. I hope so. <laughs> it's possible Vlad yeah. goes to Brussels on business. Oh, <laughs> that is, that's far it's away. It's like yeah, a five-hour yeah. car ride. It's going to be wonderful. Oh. Yes, let me tell you. What Good evening. Time. This is Aliona. Vlad, <laughs> can you explain what's all this? <laughs> Just look at the way she's dressed. <laughs> Come on. Aliana is beautiful no matter how she's dressed. I'm going to ask you to be more respectful towards my fiancé. Fiance? <laughs> well, this was not the surprise we were expecting, was it? Daddy, mommy, why did you even bring me here? Hmm? To humiliate me with this nobody? Mom. Dad. I want to ask you for your blessing for my marriage with her. No, never. That will never happen. I forbid you to get married. Aliona, you're fired. Get out of my house. Out! You heard him. Out. Look at her. She's desperate. She's a gold digger. I thought you were different. I guess I was wrong. Blessings. We don't need it. Let's go. Let's get married right now. That's what I want. What are you saying? It's the middle of the night. Then we'll go tomorrow. Where can we find the closest registry office? Downtown. Then we'll go there. I don't want that. I only wanted a real wedding with a white dress and flowers and the whole family with us. Aliona, darling, everything will be okay. Really? They all insulted me. And you, you just stood there, and you didn't do anything. Don't you get it? I will never marry you. Never. I don't want to see you. Go away. Go away. She needs to get some rest, really. You'll see her tomorrow. Don't ever come back. Go away. Calm down. It'll be okay. You'll find someone better. I promise you. I promise you. You're young. Grandma. I love him. It's I okay. love him. I don't understand. Why is the Englishman outside? Are you drunk? No, just look. I'm already tired of him. Let's Wait. go get Be him. Quiet. Be quiet. Wait. Shh. You do 
don't have to worry. He'll end up in the ground with just one punch. Well, good evening to you, sir. We need to have a talk. I don't have time to talk right now. We can talk tomorrow. Stay right there. <laughs> just need to calm down. It's just some kind of misunderstanding, I'm sure. Uh, the change of climate affected the boy. He's overworked himself in England. Veronica, Aja, Sergei, Nikolai, what are you waiting for? Say something. We can't continue like this. Say something. Fix it. What was this fiasco? Your son I... insulted me, my wife, and most importantly, Veronica. Sergei, this is an eclipse. Smart, educated boys can't get carried away by the switch. I, I will have a serious talk with my son. Daddy, let's get out of here. There's nothing left to do. Veronica, Veronica, he will marry you. Trust huh. me. It's not up to him. My recommendation is that you deal with your son fast. The loan is due soon enough. Veronica, darling. <laughs> All right. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, yeah.
Strogova. The boss is asking for you. Why? What does he want? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. His son was beaten last night. Because of you. They're gonna fire you. Now she's going to pay for everything that happened. <laughs> Well, what can you understand? We need to get Aliona out of town for at least a year. When Vlad leaves the hospital, he will run to her. I have different plans for him. He's engaged to my friend's daughter, but I can't convince him if your granddaughter is still here. Fine. If you fire Aliona, then you'll have to fire me too. Here. Sign this letter for me. I'm going to retire. And I highly recommend that you stay up to date with your creditors. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Where I'm gonna find an accountant like you? Let's do this. We will transfer her to Moscow Academy to full-time studies, okay? I promise I will pay for everything she needs. And she won't see him. I beg you, take your letter back. You've been lying on the couch all day. But why should I be in a hurry, Mom? <sighs> to pursue my happiness? Listen, tomorrow you'll go to the hospital to see Vlad. You'll be affectionate with your future husband. You will take care of him and you'll spoon feed him. So understand. This way, you'll make him believe he needs you. He'll think he can't live without you, your care, and your protection. Mm, and why should I do that? I'm afraid of hospitals. <sighs> so you're afraid of getting so drunk? Or stay alone? Why take it that far? Have you seen Aliona? She went to the river. There. There. Hey, what's going on? Shake up find Leona. Why? that kind of injuries. He's recovering quickly, so I think he will only stay a while. He will get well real soon. There is no need to worry. He's doing great. Bye. See, I can help. Just listen to me. And everything will be fine. Come on, eat some yogurt. Open up. Veronica, I ate yogurt an hour ago. Please let me sleep. You have to go home. Honey, you can sleep. I'll sit and watch you. I really don't want you to watch me while I'm sleeping. Veronica, please leave. Whatever. You haven't gotten out of bed in a week. It's not okay. This cannot continue. 
really want to live your life like this? I do. Well, I want you to get up right this second. Don't you forget your studies. I won't study. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nikolai gives you money so you can transfer to Moscow to study full time and you Grandma! just- Grandma! Stop! I will never, ever accept a penny from that family, do you hear me? Never! I'll starve before taking it! So I won't study in Moscow. What's going on? How's Vlad? Well, Mom, your advice didn't work very well. I did everything you said, but that boy can't be satisfied. Men don't know how to act when sick. They're volatile children, but we love them and just endure. I've always wanted that kind of love. I recommend to first get Vlad to the altar. Then you can complain. Uh, Aliona just refused to go to Moscow. She's a proud girl. Hmm. Well, our son will be out of the hospital the day after tomorrow. I'm sure he's going to see her immediately. I won't be able to go get him. What? Never mind. I'll get him myself. Ah, very well. Very well. Hello, Valentina. Hello. Is no one else here? Everyone is working. Hmm. Then close up the shop and come with me. It's important. Hurry. Tolik? Get ready! For what? Well, to the police. For the beating, son. I didn't beat anyone. There were witnesses. You, my friend, have to go to jail. Valentina! Yes. I saw you and all your friends hitting him on the street. Why are you lying? Yes. You liar! You weren't there! I was. You weren't there, liar! Get out of here! I'm not lying. I know I saw you. Valentina, go back to work. Here's how it's going to go, Tolik. You're facing five to seven years in prison. Or you can do everything I tell you. That way, you won't have to go to prison at all. This is a sleeping medicine. Don't worry. It's inoffensive. Okay. Stop pouting, my boy. We're sorry for Aliona. I admit we may have judged her a little harshly. So, if you really love her, we're willing to accept her. Mom, seriously? Well, of course. If you want, we can go home so you can clean yourself up, and then we can go see Aliona. home. I should have refueled, but I forgot. Listen, Mom, I lost my hope. So thanks to both of you for giving it back. Now if you'll excuse me, I can't come with you. I'm gonna see Aliana. Sorry, I can't wait to tell her. Uh, wait, Vlad, please, wait! 
What about the clothes no, Mom, and the flowers? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Vlad! Why are you back so early? What's going on? <sighs> Please, Dad, forgive me for ruining your relationship with the Guryanovs. Ruining is an understatement. I understand. Business is business. And you were right. I don't think Aliana's for me. Call Giryanov. Are you sure? I call him. <sighs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Giryanov? No. Th this is Vlad. <sighs> I'm asking for your daughter's hand. Okay. Okay, great. I'll see you soon. Thank you, son. Are you still sleeping? Aren't you hungry? Huh? Aliona? Honey, what's going on? Aliona? Aliona! Wake up! <coughs> Grandma, what happened to me? <coughs> I don't remember anything. Until it came, he wanted to reconcile. We drank tea. I wanted to reconcile with her. Just reconcile. But why did you put medicine on the tea? Me? Yes, of course it was you. Did you take advantage of her? Get out of here. But Come on, I said get out. I didn't take advantage of her. Your son is in real trouble. Step in. 
He's your son, too. So, back what he needs for the journey. I'll give you money. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. I don't like anything. We should have ordered it from Paris. But it's a pretty dress. You look beautiful. We just need a longer veil. Give it. Mm -hmm. A longer veil. Hey, Luda. Why are you here? Why am I here? Uh-huh. <laughs> and can you tell me where Alion is? She went to get buckets. She's feeling sick. Oh. Something we ate made us sick. Something you ate? She's pregnant. Listen to me, honey. You'll have to eat a lot of vegetables and vitamins. Not just a little piece of tomato or cucumber. You need to eat a whole bowl of salad. You'll eat healthy food, no calories, okay? Well, I gotta go. Luda, are you sure? <laughs> Me? Wrong? Of course I'm sure. Have a good day, Mr. Strokov. Luda? Yes? Is Claudia sick? No, Alione is. What happened? Let's just say she'll be sick for another nine months. Girls! Hey, I've got news! The paramedic... The paramedic just told me that the accountant's granddaughter got pregnant. Can you believe it? Huh. Do you know? Who's the father? The father? I think it's obvious that it's Vlad. Hmm. Vitalik mm. also went to see her a few days ago. Did he run away? Because of child support. I believe you already know. with a drink. Gypsy, tell me my fortune. <gasps> me too, me first. Oh, this one. <laughs> you stole someone's happiness. You will never be happy with a family. Get out of here. You don't know what you're talking about. Let's have a drink instead. Mr. Laptev, how are you doing today? Good. Why are you digging the ground? Do you know how to? I can't live without ground. This is what my hands know. Yes, unlike my wife. You really have talent and potential. The ground, you should love it. 
You should talk to it. If you talk to it, it hears you. It understands if you're kind to it. It'll do the same for you. Well, good day. <laughs> Finally! What took you so long? I mean, hello to you too. Listen, I have an appointment with an expert in a company of gas pipelines. The meeting's important. So in a month, we're going to Amsterdam together. <gasps> Why not Paris? Okay, Amsterdam it is. But you have to ask my daddy for a car. Then we'll go to Paris on the weekend. I think it'll be very romantic. Forget your daddy's money. I'm your husband now, we're a family. Are we clear? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but when Daddy offered to buy this apartment, you didn't refuse, darling. Maybe it's because he bought it for you, and not for us. Makes sense. Bastard. Oh, Grandma, it hurts so bad. You can do it, honey. Alion is gonna make Claudia a great grandmother. And you a grandmother. Tolik said nothing happened. And I believe him. Really? Sure. What about the medicine? I'm just saying. Stepan! Wait for me, Stepan! Amazing! We married our kids, and now they're flying to Europe together. Great job. Our children are happy, my dear, thanks to us. Yes. Our son will forget that foolish girl. We promise, right? Mm-hmm. Ah. Certificate. Father, Vlad Strogoff. The name is there, but the person isn't. Get up. Move. Come on. I need to clean the floor. Good job. Come on. Good job. some milk for your son that's stealing stealing you don't understand even when you work so hard the milk was very cheap when the farm was collective we could afford it but now look at the price they're monsters come on 
Take it for your son. No way. Take it. Come on, take it. Just take it. It's really fresh. Take it quickly. Just bring a container tomorrow. A bigger one. Grandma, we're here. Sorry it took so long. I really miss you. Let me help, Mom. Here. Take these bunch of leaves. Put them in that pile. I think I did it. I graduated from college. I received a diploma. But I don't work as an agronomist. I'm a cowgirl. I start every day at 10 p.m. and I come back at 5. It works. I put Igor to sleep and I go to work. When I get back, he's sleeping. Here, also take this. Igor grew up. He helps me a lot. <laughs> Watering the garden. <laughs> Everything's growing well in Valentina. The saleswoman also helps me by selling vegetables in the store. <laughs> Mommy, can Grandma hear us when we talk to her? <sighs> Please don't worry about us. Others have it way worse. Son, Grandma hears and sees us. She sees all your pranks and she's asking you to listen to me and obey me. Polina, come join us. So, let's eat and have a drink. Then we'll talk about you two. Thank I'm you. I'm really hungry. Well? Well, welcome back. Well, would you please say something nice to our guests? Mom, what guests? Oksana wants to be your daughter-in-law. <laughs> we'll see. So far, I want that too. Uh, thank you for the blouse. <laughs> You're welcome. I won! <laughs> we have 
have to win. No, I won. Screw you. I'm telling my dad. I will also tell everything to my dad, okay? You don't have a dad, only a mother. I really have a dad. I do! I gotta go to work. I'll go. I want to see the village. Oksana, you should come. Maybe I should help your mother clean the table, right? Yes, please. Okay, then. Uh, of course. <laughs> Aluna. Aluna, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Tolik. Hello. What are you doing here? I came back. For how long? For good. <laughs> Tired of traveling the world. I made some money, but now I'm gonna buy some land. I'll be a farmer. And you, how are you? <laughs> are... Are you alone? Still single? Not alone. Um. I have a son, Igor. Oh. That's great. I also got married. <laughs> Her name's Oksana. No children yet. Oksana doesn't want them. She says, we need to settle down first. Mom, mom, a boy just- What happened? Are you my dad? your dad. Uh, uh, you know what? A Leona, a single mother, lives in the opposite house. Tolik used to be so in love with her. He even proposed to her. Thank you. Oh, hi there. Hello. Well, how was Bulgaria? Great. It's a shame you didn't join me. <laughs> to leave Amsterdam to go to Bulgaria? Even my daddy would agree Amsterdam's way better. <laughs> I see. How are you two weeks without me? I went to Paris. Paris! Amazing shops. On the wine. <laughs> Veronica, your fairy tale's over. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> In three days, we're going back. <laughs> to Russia? Are you kidding? What am I gonna do there? It's not up for discussion. Here, pancakes. Eat oh, wow. Some. Thanks, Mom. Uh, Tolik, take us to the city. We want to buy some pretty things. I can't. Transmission's messed up. What? Transmission. The car doesn't work. Uh, uh, 
Okay. Uh, we'll take the bus then. Mm -hmm. Oksana, wait, let me change and we'll go. Leave me alone. I'm sick of you. I was transferred to the Russian representative office. She didn't like it, but I'm dependent. And to be honest, I'm really glad. It's a promotion. Oh, well, okay, okay. This is like an important promotion. Hmm. But how are you as a family? Do you get on well? We do, Mr. Guryanov. Wait a minute. Vlad, promise me you'll never leave her. If you do, she'll go completely off the rails. You know, well, that's nice. <laughs> Where's your mom? She's asleep. Asleep? Yes. It's midday. Is she sick? No. Yesterday she worked all night. Ah. Uh, then let's not wake her up. What is that? A house. A house? Yes. Do you have any other toys? Yes. I play with the stones. I see. Let's go to the store. Are you my dad? Give me your hand. Come on. We can go to the store in my car. It's very good hair dry. Even I try it. Woo! <laughs> Look who's here! Oi, 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 oi. We have some special guests. Oi, oi. Hello. Hello. When did you came? Just got here. Mm. We wanted to know if you have any toys. What kind? Normal toys. We never have them. Oh. Uh. Just wait a minute. I think I might have a little bike. Time ago, someone asked for it, but they never came through. Huh? I will go check. Is that his son? You want candy? <laughs> You sure? Here it is. Wow, so cool. Awesome. How much is it? That's enough. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Uh, this thing is really heavy. He's Talik son. He's identical. I think his father is Vlad. They've got the same oh. eyes. I'm Why would he sure give a bicycle to someone me. else's child? Look, we're here. Igor! Tell me, where were you? I've been looking all over for you! Aliona, stop screaming. Everything's okay, right? There you go! <laughs> you learned so quickly. Now he has his very own bicycle. For what? I bet it was really expensive. Don't worry. Just look at how happy he is. Come on. One more time. And here we go. That over uh, there is our neighbor, Aliona. And the boy is her son. Good Dolik. job. Did you fix the car? I did. Honey, I bought the socks. Uh, let's go get dinner ready. One second. I'll come later tonight so we can talk. I start working at nine. Igor, let's go. Mom, I want to play a little longer.
What are you doing? The noise woke me up. Anyone normal would already be awake. What? Are you saying it's not normal? No! Nothing about this is normal! Nothing about us is normal! When was the last time you even cooked? Amazing story. I didn't get married for this. You should have known better and marry someone who'll cook for you. <laughs> what are you doing drinking if you just woke up? Hmm? I don't care. I can't anymore. I'll be late. Maybe I'll stay with my parents. <laughs> I'll go and fill up the car, in case you go out tomorrow. Hey, why didn't you do it before? Because I was fixing it before. Oh, oh yes, you're right. I remember seeing you. Why were you so eager to come? Come on. Go out to see your ex. Go see her. I didn't ask for your opinion. Hello. Hello. Where do you work? I am a cowgirl. Uh, what do you want to talk about? I'm late. Let's get in the car, please. Come on. I thought I'd forget you. But I can't. When I saw you, I felt like I did before. I love you, Leona. I'll leave Ascana, but please marry me. I promise that I will be a great father to Igor, I swear. Tolik. We grew up together. We were neighbors. But you know that I have never loved you. Don't ruin your wife's life. It's not her fault. Aliona, Aliona. Aliona, Aliona, please, come on. You need to go back to your wife. Move on with your life. Well, where are you going? I've really just had enough. Vlad, don't be childish. <sighs> 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 
First, there's your drinking problem. It's too much. Now, you decide to bring strangers to our bedroom. I'm done. Come on. I don't like you. Not anymore. I guess I shouldn't have come here. Tell me what happened. Aliona. She doesn't love me. You need to let her go. Why did you come here? You are married. She's not my wife. We... We just sleep together and live in the same place, but I don't love her. You know what? Let's go home. Tomorrow will be a new day. Wait, come on, you. let's go. Well, what happened? He couldn't just leave. Tell me, what happened? Something happened. What did he say? He didn't say anything. He took his things and left. I'm sure he went with some woman. Mom, when is Daddy coming home? In two days. He'll get in the morning. Grab your things, you'll leave with us. I'm not leaving with you, Mom. But I won't live with him either. I'm sure he's with Aliona. Unbelievable. I'm filing for divorce. Mom, I want to live in Europe, you know? When your father <gasps> finds out you won't live in Europe, get ready. I can't believe it. Like that to me. You don't like me? He doesn't like me. Huh. Cover up. Just so you know, I do this for you. What? Why are you leaving? Oh, you're tired. You've been working hard. Oh, I get it now. Mwah. You're such a hard worker. Please go to sleep. And if I want to have a drink with you? I can't have a drink with you? <laughs> Why are all women so dramatic? <laughs> dramatic, right? We are dramatic. <laughs> you think you're better than everyone. You're not. 
He promised me mountains of gold. And then he buys a bicycle. He's your son, right? Huh? Dolik! If you leave me, I'll die. I will kill myself. And I leave a note saying it's your fault. <sighs> Jess, would you like that happen? Don't, like... Don't let her go let like her that. Let her go. Go make my bed. I'm really tired. Goodbye. Hey, calm down. I'll check on her. for men. If they want you, you'll stay. And if not, you're out. Son? Hey, Mom, what is that noise? Everything's fine. Relax. Come on. Sleep. I'll handle it. Come on. Mommy! Mommy! When I woke up, you were in there and I got very scared. Hello, neighbor. We have to talk. I don't have time to talk right now. You need to hear this. Please. You need to leave my family alone. The only thing you do is cause trouble. Tolik... ...just left Toxana. And she did all this? Okay. Tomorrow, Tolik will replace everything. I don't need Tolik! And I don't need your help! But please... ...I'm begging you to leave us alone. I would go far away if I had somewhere to go, but I have nothing. Here. 
Okay, you can go on a walk. Just don't go far away, okay? Aliona! Aliona! Two cows are missing. Come on. They're monsters. I didn't close the gate. I would hate being you. Tomorrow we'll eat you alive because of this. I speak of the devil and she shall appear. Listen, you'll pay for both cows and emotional damage. Unless you want a trial. Wait, no, I changed my mind. You are fired. Tamara, she had to leave on a rush for her son. Someone broke in. I don't care about her life, she's fired. And if you keep talking, you're next. Everyone here won't shut up. She's like that just because she married the owner. Mm -hmm. She used to be like us. Come here, beauties. Let's go inside. Hey, hey, come here. Whoa, you <laughs> found come them. Here, come Thank on you in. so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Here you are. Let's They're go inside. <laughs> come on in, Alina beautiful will ladies. never afford to pay both of them. <laughs> they really saved Thank their you. lives. <laughs> this need a bottle of cognac to celebrate. The well, best. I accept the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the best, but thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure much. to help you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> One moment, please. This is private matter. What did you do, young man? Eh? I'm going to divorce your daughter. I trusted you with the most sacred thing. You threw it away. You are as weak as a rat. You don't truly know your daughter. She's not what you think. After... After everything, rat. All the things I did. And that's your response? I want you out of the ministry tomorrow! I've already handed in my resignation, sir. Uh, uh, please, Lisa. No! Don't say another word! I'll make sure you and your son go to ruin! I'll destroy you! Uh, wait. Dad! Dad! Call an ambulance! Hello, sweetie. Your mom? Hello. My mom is in the kitchen. Thank you, sweetheart. You scare me. I was near here and I decided to drop by because I haven't seen you in the store. Why would I go to the store with no money? I was fired and they didn't pay me. Ah, what happened? I left the cow's gate open overnight. Hmm, I see. Your son's really a fighter. Really. Come on, go. So, it's Igor Tolikson? Why do you care? Don't know if you know. He left Oksana. Why should I care? Because the cold town is talking. That was for you. I don't care what they say. Mm hmm. I see you have a window problem. <sighs> Valentina, if you know everything, why are you here? I just wanted to ask if... Uh... You know why Tully came back? He has money. I don't know. He must want to be a farmer. <sighs> Fool, but you have to think positive. Cheer up, relax. You will see everything will be good. And a smile more, it looks so good on you. Okay? Try it. You're really pretty and your son is adorable. Take care of yourself. The situation of your husband requires an emergency surgery that can only be made in another country. Probably Germany, but I'm telling you it'll not be cheap. That's no problem. We have money. Mom. Gurianov froze our accounts. 
In that case, we'll sell something. They have all our properties. But what can we do? Look who's here. Mm. Vodka? Cognac? We have some good ones in here. Hmm? Mm, I don't drink anymore. Hmm. What'd you say? How long you will stay? We'll see. You didn't want to be a farmer? You don't have money? Who says? The whole town is talking about it. But tell me something. Tolik, think about it. Why do you want the farm? Hmm? But why? Because Kuznetsov has the vegetables. Beef and meal tomorrow. Hmm? But if you open a store, a mother's store, oh. you can put a round table hmm. where men can sit and drink. Relaxing, you could be the boss of all. Yes. They could come here, oh. and I will sell to them, and all will be happy. So who would stay here? I will find someone, not a thief, but someone more trusty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> I can go to your house and talk about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any flour? I will get some. Mm -hmm. Everyone is equal in my eyes, all some wise, and so brave, and I love you. I love you, brothers, but the Prince Yelise, he has my heart in love. Mom, will you go to work tomorrow? <laughs> no, son, I won't. I'm not going anywhere. Mom, can I sleep with you tonight? I'm afraid. Okay, I'll lay down with you just today. Tomorrow I'll sleep alone, okay? Let's sleep. Well, I start at least what we need. At least three glass display, a walk-in freezer, <laughs> an electronic scale. Valentina, that comes next. We first need a place to make the establishment. By the way, I know someone. He builds anything quick. Excellent. We call him tomorrow. That's for now. Tolik, walk with me. <laughs> I never thought the Queen of Gossip would turn out to be such a professional. Yes. <laughs> She's such a leader. A leader. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> favor can you go and check on Igor during your break he's alone at the house and there's no one else what about you I have to go to my neighbor Fetter. I want to start selling vegetables I need the money it's really important hmm uh, sorry but I can I have to go to the city Tolik and I are opening a new store in the city oh 
Okay, I'll ask Larissa then. Can I tell you something? Um, huh? Talik and I would spend the whole day talking nonsense. Mm. He woke me on. And he kissed me. That's good. I wanted to start a business with him, someone I can trust. You're not afraid he'll start drinking? Hmm, he's not. He won't do it. This is a serious business for us. He won't have the time. Hmm. In fact, we're gonna need an employee, you know? Someone responsible and decent. Someone like you. Are you serious? <laughs> I need to work. Hey, it's time. Come on, let's go. Mommy, please don't go. Son, we need the money. I'll sell vegetables. And then later, I'll buy you a chocolate bar. How's that? Do you like chocolate? Just don't get out of the house. Luna, do you have... Luna, do you have money for gas, huh? Come on, let's sell the vegetables later. Come on, but we need to leave now. to pay for your place to sell there and we have nothing I don't know what to do don't worry we'll sell right here look you can sell here uh, but Pick up all your stuff and go away now. Uh. It's okay, it's all right. Don't you worry. We will sell at that corner. It's gonna be okay. We can sell over there. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Can't be. Ah. Aluna, it's dead. I can't fix it right now. Hey, what do I do? My son's home alone. I'm sorry, Aluna. Uh, you can take the bus and leave everything here. I will take care of all the stuff. Hello, Larissa? Can you stop by my house, please? Yes, my house. Igor is there alone. Mm hmm. I don't know how long it'll be. The car is dead. Fire in all troops! Pew, 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 pew. General, new artillery forward! Fire! No, Recharge. my car is faster than yours! Renee! No, you'll never win! Pew, pew, pew! pew. Igor! Igor, come play with us. I have a new car. I'm gonna look for my mom. I think she's lost.
Igor, I'm home. Igor, why don't you come to say hi? Son, I'm sorry, but the car's engine just broke down. Igor? Igor! Why are you here, champ? Huh? Come here. Well, I was going to look for my mom because she didn't come home. And your dad? I don't know. He got lost and I've never found him. What's your name? Igor. My name's Vlad. Tell me, where's your house? Kamenka. Ooh, we're going to the same place. How about I take you? for one thing and you didn't do it. Now tell me, where is he? Where is he? Tell me. I don't know. I only left for two minutes and Mom, then he disappeared. Mom, I found you. Oh, my son. Why was my son in your car? Explain. Where did you find him? Please explain to me what he was doing in the middle of the road. Mom, don't get upset. Vlad, he's good. He helped me. Let him be my dad. If he wants to be your dad, he must earn it. Let's go. Mr. Kuznetsa, I think Ryanov's idea will not work. Your father was an excellent farmer. Excellent products, excellent quality, strong position in the market, strong partner relationships. I will try to convince Good enough that he will not win this trial. But you go see your father. Call him down. Yes. And advise him to change banks. Best of luck. Goodbye. Take care, Vasilenko. Olga, tell him. Hedgehog. 
Your dad gave the power of attorney to you. Now you have the control over everything. Come on, let's go. He has to rest. Rehab Clinic. Darling, I didn't want you to worry. Get in the car! How could you hide the fact that my daughter's a drug addict? You worked so hard and I didn't find time. I thought that Vlad would change her for good. Please understand. I lost my best friend because of her. I called their whole family liars. I promise I will find out where he is, darling. I will call him. Sergey. I see. It's been hard. I'm in trouble. My husband... is sick. My son got divorced. Oh, everything's wrong. It's... our sins. It's my sin. My sin, I know it. I deceived my son and dishonored his bride. That is tormenting me. I don't know what to do. I don't know. You confess it's your sins. But you need to fix it. So, Svetlana, this order needs to be urgently printed and posted on the bulletin board. And bring me all the documents that require my signature, okay? Very well. Thank you. Oh. Hello? Lucy? Yes, you won't believe it. We have a new owner. <laughs> Who? Kuznetsov's son. Lad. Mm hmm. Mom, everything's okay? Hello. Yes, just that your father is in consultation and we can't see him right now. Vlad, mm -hmm. I need to confess something to you. What, Mom? You stole a million dollars? No, worse. I stole your happiness. I really wanted the best for you, but I was wrong. Remember when they discharged you from the hospital? Oh, girls, Italy's a fairy tale country of love. By the way, I rode a gondola. Their gondoliers are so handsome. There is. Hello. What do you think? Well done, Valentina. She's a stolic. By the way, maybe he needs a woman like this to keep him on a tight leash, right? So, about Italy, gondoliers are so handsome there. Hedgehog. Forgive me, Hedgehog. Please forgive me, my son. <clears throat> The situation is the following. The dynamics show that your husband needs an operation urgently, so you have to find the money. Your phone is ringing. Young man, your phone. Is this Vlad? Yes. I'm glad to inform you that Gurianov refused to go to court. There will be no trial. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
I don't know why, but Guryanov has decided not to go to court. There's money. That's great. I'll start with the preparations of your husband's move to Germany. Hey, hey, come here. Son, you have to eat to the end. Well, at least a spoon. Otherwise, you will never grow up. Great job. Mom, the cartoons will start soon. Mm hmm <laughs> Aliona, you're home? <laughs> oh, hi. Listen, I'll bring you something. A beef stew. Here, hold it. It's very good to feed your boy. Soon he will be pale from your vegetables. Please. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Come on, what are you saying? I understand. That is hard for you. All by yourself. And by the way... Tolly proposed to me. I say yes. Congrats. Thank you so much, my dear. But we're not even planning the wedding yet. We have so much to do, like opening the store, and we'll decide then that the story is... And... Oh. I will go. Bye-bye. For you. Thank you. You shouldn't have. Eliona, listen to me. You know it was my fault. My whole family and I turned out to be guilty in front of you. But I didn't know anything. When I was discharged from the hospital five years ago, I saw you lying in bed with... What nonsense are you saying? That didn't happen! So you really don't know anything! They went and put some kind of drug in your tea. My mom told me. Anyways, but... But out of desperation, I decided to marry Veronica because my parents wanted it. But it's over. Aliona, listen. You're the only woman I've ever loved. I swear. I love you, and I always will. Please forgive me. Give me a second chance. Marry me. Please, I need you. No. Go away. I don't believe you anymore. I can't go through that again, and I'm not alone, do you hear me? I have a son, a son, and it will hurt me twice, you hear me? How old are you? Five. On his birth certificate, what does it say about his dad? It says your name. He is my son. You are my firstborn, my child. I don't know. No. Remember from now on, you are my son. Do you understand? My son. Aliona, what else can I do to make you forgive me? Please tell me. Can you repair a window? I haven't yet, but I sure can try to. Igor. Marry me. I'm a 
Aliona, what do you think? White dress, lots of flowers, <laughs> a happy family. And we'll be together forever. Happiness to the couple! <laughs> <laughs> well, now everyone's happy. Keep her, keep.